Today we're making black pepper beef stir fry. It's charred, it's tender, it packs the punch from the black pepper. Such an easy and delicious stir fry dish if you get it right. All right, so first off, what we need to do is cut up our steak. Here I have a beautiful piece of sirloin and I'm just gonna cut on a diagonal angle strips. They are not too thick, not too thin. Because here's the thing, if you cut it too thin, your beef's gonna overcook and that's gonna make it tough. Something that looks like this, and very important to note, we're always cutting against the grain. Yeah. You can trim off the fat cap. Now it's important to note the beef has to be pat dried. If it's soaking in its own blood, you're not gonna get a nice char. Once the beef hits the wok, it's gonna start steaming and boiling in its own juices. So make sure before you begin, pat dry your beef. This is what you want, something nice and dried. Into a bowl. Now we're gonna marinate this beef. Teaspoon of soy sauce, tablespoon oyster sauce, teaspoon of sesame oil, and a heaping teaspoon of cornstarch. Give this a good mix together and let that stand for a minute. We've got about 15 grams of black pepper. Grind. If you're making a dish like a black pepper stir fry, you really want to use freshly grinded black pepper. That way you get the maximum flavor or aroma from a black pepper. Prepare some of our aromatics. Ginger, garlic, yellow onion. So we're using about half a yellow onion. Just cut them into wedges. Red capsicum. Take off this white part, cut them into strips. Now, before we start cooking, I'm gonna start making the sauce. Here we have a tablespoon of oyster sauce, a little bit of black vinegar. This will sort of give you a nice sort of tang. Have a couple of teaspoons in there. To this, I'm gonna add about half a teaspoon of cornstarch and a splash of water. Give it all a good mix. Now for my Chinese friends, if you wanna add um, rice wine, you can add rice wine into the sauce. Get your wok nice and hot, add in a little bit of oil. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stir fry capsicum and Holland yellow onions. So we're giving this a little bit of color. There we go, and this comes right up. Now bring your wok back to temperature before we add on more oil. Now the beef goes in. Usually in a restaurant, you've got high pressure stove, right? That keeps the temperature nice and high. But in a home stove, the temperature drops right down the moment you put anything to it. Divide it into batches, that way you get really nice charring. And you don't want to overcook the meat. Just nice color on the surface and out it comes. So you get a little bit of chars on the edges, but you still sort of maintain the meat that's nice and pink. Add in a little bit more oil. Now the ginger goes in. Once the ginger starts to turn color and gets sort of nice and golden, then we'll add in our garlic. Your black pepper goes in. Give it a quick stir. Beef together with the condiments back in. Now your sauce. I've got some spring onions. Cut some whites, cut some greens. Get that, chuck it in, toss around. Almond is ready to be served. It's time to taste. Get that beef. Mm. The beef's nice and tender, juicy. Although it may seem like mutt, the combination of flavor with the oyster sauce, the soy sauce, the flavor of the black pepper is nice and pronounced. You really get the fragrance of black pepper and not just the spicy notes. By doing it this way, you sort of keep all your condiments, your capsicum, your yellow onion still nice and has a crunch. Tell me if you love stir fries as much as I do. I know I do stir fries at home all the time because why? It's quick, you do it right, it's delicious, it saves time and it's a one walk wonder. Let me know what your favorite stir fries are. Till next time, guys, check out. Ciao.